Starting out, I'm going to let the ACLU at the JCAR hearing speak for themselves regarding the transgender model policy. The model policies need to be limited to the what was directed by the General Assembly. Period. So what the model policy said did not remove parental rights. The model policies had nothing to do with co-ed unisex bathrooms. So here we sit 15 months post day one with hundreds of thousands of parents with their 14th Amendment due process parental rights removed. It's not up for debate. I have a list ready to go to a grand jury, a special grand jury, removing Jason Mi Miarez with every single person that adopted that because the General Assembly did not do that. You can't remove parental rights, period. It's not up to you. It's not up for debate. So, Ms. Coons, welcome. But I'm letting you know that you've walked into a dumpster fire. So whatever propaganda has been spewed across the nation about we need to do what Virginia's doing, you can light gasoline, put that on fire because that's a lie. Governor Yunkin ran on special education. You're now being handed what James Lane, who's now sitting at the right hand of Miguel Cardona, speaking of Goochland over here. Then he went through Chesterfield, plowed through like Katrina, through the um, through New Orleans. That's what he did. Then he came here and did the same thing. And now Bela, she got reprimanded by his office, and now you're going to inherit that. That's the one thing on your list of things that you should your priorities. Workforce, not one. Our children are not cogs in a machine. Okay, so. Your list needs to be special education children. Yes. Your list needs to be restoring the rights of parents. And you talk about parental transparency. I wrote a bill called Transparency in Education. Do you know how much law that nobody's following? That would be all of it. And I'm sure you have not received your letter from Ghazala Hashmi in the Senate sub-ed committee because they didn't want anything to do to this because the BSBA said, we're 100% following that. No, they're not. No, they're not. Counselors are not doing their jobs. Counselors can't do anything without parents. They laughed and said, what are we supposed to notify parents every time? We yes, you are. By Virginia law, you are. You take, I will not violate the Constitution of the United States. I will not violate the what? Constitution of Virginia. Every single school board in this division, every single board of supervisors, every single person on this committee, the governor, Jason Miares, Winsome Sears, every senator, they are all, everybody's violating the Constitution, their oath of office, everybody on both sides of the aisle. Why do you think I had a uni party shirt on last week? It's because nobody actually cares about these children. You care about a workforce, building a workforce. Children's jobs are not to build a workforce for a future economy. Governor Yunkin, I am so tired. I ran, I I ran my butt off to get him elected. And I would like to return him. Because not one thing he promised has been delivered is what the conservatives and Republicans need to understand. Not one single thing. Make your list. What was promised, what was delivered. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And so, Ms. Coons, if you want, I live in Chesterfield, the dumpster fire that nobody talks about. And so, and I'm the vice president of Virginians for Children First. All children are losing. I have I, Ms. Schultz. Everybody here can find me and have an actual zero partisan. Thank you. When you uphold your code of ethics, I'll uphold my, my um, code of my time constraint. Well, this is your time constraint. Okay, over. then you. Uh, how about you uh, uphold your code of ethics and while you're on this board, um, not join any committees um, forced to your propaganda. Thank you.